The highly anticipated episode with the Shadow Walker. Yes, you heard right. Once human, now a member of the Valorant Legion, he suffers from retrograde amnesia, but more on that in a minute. Thank you for coming, Jim. Excuse me. I almost said the wrong name. He just disappeared in front of me. We unfortunately have to end the broadcast. Did the wrong name made him that mad? What is his name anyway? A memoryless shadow imprisoned in the wrong shell. There haven't been any leaks of this new agent yet. I'm curious how he looks like. Still, I did manage to find several pieces of information. Apparently he is shrouded in a hooded cape and his overall color palette is dark blue and black. And everyone knows about the dazzling light source surrounded by darkness where head is supposed to be. You know what? <laughs> Let's just call him obscure, memoryless and trapped nightmare for now. Or to make it easier, just omen. Okay, so now that I kind of know how he looks like, Let's actually start making it. The first thing will be the hooded cape, because for some reason I feel like the head area should be the beginning and the end. For that reason I am unfolding the blue linen, one of my fabrics that I got for this. And I am marking the patterns that I made and then cut out all of them. Before putting everything together I want to sew the edges over, so that it is a little bit cleaner, but not too clean though, because now I am going to make it look rough and used. I'm sure he has been on a few expeditions already, so it won't be the cleanest gear anymore. I use bleach to paint on the symbols on his back. And for some additional details I want to be a little bit edgy. <laughs> Instead of using our logo, I'm going to use the Kingdom Industries logo. I hope I won't get in trouble for this. His backstory is so inconsistent, so maybe I'm a freaking genius for this. He apparently worked there with Viper, so who knows. I mean I can always just draw on the white lines if I have to. Now that the cape is done, I'm going to make a frame for the hood. I really dislike that the hood just flopped around so much, so to prevent that from happening again, wire was the way to go. And then with some stitches, the hooded cape was done. For the shirt and the arms, the same thing again. Pattern making, cut, cut, cut. I'm not really into knitting, but I like sewing though. What I don't like is sewing on stripes, multiple stripes. I also had to do that with my Loki cosplay. Since then I really don't like attaching them. It feels like a nightmare to do. But at least I don't have to wrap both my arms in bandages every time I put it on. And look at these cute li <coughs> average sized bandage ends. And not a second sleeve. Ugh. And I thought I could escape my nightmare. Well, okay, it wasn't that bad after all. So let's see how it looks. Oh, okay, okay. This is my outfit of the day and... Okay, no, but seriously, this looks good. Now let's... I apologize for the last episode, but because natural catastrophes are occurring more frequently now, he was assigned to a new expedition. To not miss any of the future videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. Tough times I've been going through Some tough times and I'm overdue A good sign, maybe something new Some good times, give me any clue Cause I don't wanna be left over I just wanna know how it feels to have closure Tough times I've been going through Some tough times yeah. I've been going through I feel like something's missing My life's a little dull Think I have It's been a couple of weeks but now I'm back at it again My first attempt uh, didn't work out so well So I cut up a cloth of mine Ironed it flat Made a proper pattern Started sewing And boom, I'm done With that being finished I already have the gloves, the hooded cape and the arms Now something really important No, not a chest armor for protection to safely rescue this dying planet I'm talking about the place to put my phone. So I took a trouser pattern, doubled it and gave it to the next one. With some marking and cutting I managed to make something like a pair of pants. The important thing isn't the trouser, it's bags. I have cosplays without pockets and I'm not making the same mistake a third time. With some additional shapes and preparation I finally added the bags on each side and then sew all of the parts together. To finalize the trousers, I hand sew on hooks and bars. Heart rate is rising, some call it scared. You'll feel the chill start raising your hairs. It's too late, you're here now. Now that my trousers are secure from falling down, I can start with the chest armor by wrapping myself into foil and then make a pattern out of it. And I knew that I would cut myself if I use a scissor, so I just ripped it off. Here I am drawing on the general shape of the chest piece and then cut out every single piece individually out of EVA foam. Tricks, 
attention, I'll be right there. It took me quite a while to get a paint color that I thought would fit with my fabrics, but I had a lot of fun bending the pieces into the right shape and making them look damaged with aluminum foil, some random cuts and heat treatment prior to painting them. But my paint job also has to look used and damaged, so I used the wash technique for a weathering effect. Everyone from the Valorant Legion has these distinct harsh highlights, so of course I also add them here. Then some more details and this is what I have now. But I am not done yet, I still need to attach it to my shirt. And I am doing that by gluing it on some fabric. Not only can I then just easily fixate it with security pins, I also can move a bit in it, because every piece is individually glued onto stretch fabric. If I were to just make it a stiff chest plate, I wouldn't be able to move as much. Now I just need to finish it up and then see how it looks when I put it on. Well, turns out it was too long. So another fitting test and I also added these straps on the back to hold it in place. I started at the top and now I'm already at the bottom. For the shoes I also used this method to get a perfect pattern for my feet and legs. But this time I didn't rip it off. Instead I used scissors and I almost cut my shoelaces off. And with these patterns I cut them out of fabric and then sew them together. I move quietly, like a shadow, there's a dark side to me. I work privately to go build and create my own dynasty. A new rivalry, it emerges ever so silently. A final fitting, yeah, that's good. Let's add some missing details now, starting with the ribs on the chest armor. Now that I have the shape and I know the positioning, I give them a bone-like paint job and then glue them on. I also made a belt bag and then attached shoulder armor to the cape. As I said, beginning and end. I ended up with these shapes, but I struggled a lot getting to this point. I wanted to make it look clean, but not too clean, and it shouldn't even be visible. It should be dark, like a shadow. Anyway, so I cut out the pieces, glue it together, make it comfortable to wear and then light it up. 